Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will talk about Flux Goof model which allows you to create good quality of images at less performance, which is mainly due to the quantization method known as GPT generated unified format. This method allows the user to use the CPU while offloading some layer to the GPU. By doing that, we will see a speed improvement for image generation. So today I will guide you through the installation step of this GoF models. I will also show you how to use it in both Comfy UI and Forge Web UI. So let's dive into video. So before we start, as always, we need to download some models and install some additional loads in order to load this GoF model. To do that, you can use the link that I provided here. You will find on this workflow all the necessary files for this workflow. But first, let's get started with the GoF model. Just copy and paste this link. Then, when you open up, go to File. And here you will see the necessary model for our generated images. I strongly suggest you to download this Q4KS model which is waiting uh, practically 7 gigabytes. Then once it is finished, go to your Comfy UI root folder, go to model, then don't paste it on checkpoint. Find unit, then you can paste your model here. Then we will need to download some clip text models in order to make it work with this model. Just copy this link, paste it here and try to download this model safe tensor file which weight 1.7 gigabyte this is the clip with large patch that we're gonna need for this uh, text encoding okay now use the second link here and download this t4xxl fp8 version once it is done go to your config UI root folder under model search for clip and paste everything here i renamed the first file to clip goof model and i leave the t5xxl as it is you also need to download this vae file just use this link here copy paste then download this file once it is completed, go to your Comfy UI under model and search for VAE, paste it here, then rename it VAE Goof in order to remember. Now that we have all the necessary models, we're gonna need to install the, the Goof nodes. To do that, just use this link over here. Copy, I'm gonna paste it here. You will find the code here, just copy the code, then go to Comfy UI. Go to custom nodes, type in here cmd, then type in git clone, paste your model, paste your code here, and click enter, and you will automatically install these nodes. Once it is done, you will find out this file was created here, but we need to install the requirements, and the best way to do that is to go into ComfyY root folder, Python embedding, here, type in cmd again then use this code on the github uh, page just copy this part here from python to requirements paste it here and click enter and it will automatically install all the necessary requirement by avoiding some errors good now that you have everything enter your comfy ui go to manager and try update comfy ui once it is done, restart your Comfy UI and we are good to go. Okay, once it is done, restart your Comfy UI and I will give you a quick overview over my workflow. It is a simple basic workflow for the Flux models, but at the exception at this unit loader, GoF. This unit loader allows you to read all the GoF model that was uploaded recently. Then this unit loader is gonna be plugged into basic guider and also a basic scheduler. We have a simple scheduler at 20 steps and we chose the noise value of 1. For the key sampler here we selected the Euler and we have our random noise uh, notes. Here I have my image resolution which I can vary according to my needs and here we have the flux guidance for the prompt uh, adherence. You can increase this value up to 6 but I strongly suggest you to keep it as low as possible. 
for all my tests i'm gonna choose of guidance value to three then we have our vae model here and our vae decode it is practically as simple as that i also forgot to tell you about the, our dual clip nodes where i'm gonna allow the, the t5 xll and the clip gov safe tensor you can also choose the clip l safe tensor file if you download it one before it's gonna give you the same results that's practically all you're gonna need for this workflow now i will show you on the image that i generated the vram usage and we will also compare it with different uh, goof model that i selected for this video okay here we have our results of the generated images that we created and you can already notice the quality of those images we have good quality and good prompt adherence with this goof models the model also successfully created the hands and the skin for all the images we have also good details on all the selected images by the way you can use all my prompt that i included on my workflow you can also notice the good quality that was created using different goof models the main difference remain on the vram usage that's why i suggested you to use the q4 ks version now i will show you how you can use this uh, goof model on forge web ui to do that is very simple just enter your forge web ui root folder sorry go to model and we will start out with the clips text search for text encoder then just copy and paste this clip text models and paste them onto text encoder now let's let's step up to gov model go search for unit just copy the flux develop on q4ks model then go to forge web ui enter model go to stable diffusion and paste the model here once it is done we will need we will also need our vae go to vae and pay, copy this vae gov go to vae of forge web ui and paste your model here once it is done just run just start forge web ui here we have our forge web ui interface now i will show you how you can run this gov model for the checkpoint just here select your goof model then go to vae text encoder we're gonna select our text encoder both files and also i'm gonna select this vae goof decode file here i'm gonna leave the rest as it is then i'm gonna change the resolution to 1024 to 1024 by the way you can use all the you can use any resolution that you want for this flux model it's gonna uh, create you your images uh, more easily compared to the our previous stable diffusion models and here you can just copy and paste your prompt and click generate okay i also made a comparison between comfy y and forge web ui with the same prompt selected and we can observe the good quality of forge web ui too however we have we can say that we have the same quality of images which are very good so that's it for today's video if you like this video please push the like button for me subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below and also don't forget to watch my other video about comfy ui thank you